Jesus is teaching others not to worry, so you might find it interesting. No, 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 I can't listen, can't listen. Oh, I've got too much to worry about. Oh, I've got to go. Oh. oh, dear. Well, we can still read the Bible. This is from uh, Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 34. And Jesus is still up the mountain, mountain teaching his disciples how to live God's way. So let's see what he says. I tell you not to worry about your life. Don't worry about having something to eat, drink, or wear. Isn't life more than food or clothing? I've got the food, I've got the food! <laughs> Look at the birds in the sky. They don't plant or harvest. They don't even store grain in barns. Yet your father in heaven takes care of them. Aren't you worth more than the birds? Hey Ross, I'm going to make a cake! Yeah, that'll be great! <laughs> Oh, can worry make you live longer? Oh, hey Ross, I've even got some popcorn! Oh. Cool, huh? Oh, oh. Oh. Scrub. Oh. 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 Why worry about clothes? Clothes? Oh, I don't think about clothes! I don't usually wear clothes! Ah. Oh, look how the wildflowers grow. They don't work hard to make their clothes. But I tell you that Solomon, with all his wealth, wasn't as well dressed as one of them. I've got some clothes, Ross! I've got some clothes! <laughs> God gives such beauty to everything that grows in the fields, even though it is here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow. He will surely do even more for you. Why do you have such little faith? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Don't worry and ask yourselves, Will we have anything to eat? Will we have anything to drink? Will we have anything to wear? Only people who don't know God are always worrying about such things. Your Father in heaven knows that you need all of these. But more than anything else, put God's work first and do what He wants. Then the other things will be yours as well. Don't worry about tomorrow. It will take care of itself. You have enough to worry about today. Scruff. Scruff, I think all this worry might be a bad thing. Oh, I think so too, Ross. I think you should calm down. You might get more done. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah, so, okay, how about I help you put up the decorations? Ah! Decorations? What did I think of decorations? Uh, ah! oh, oh. Whoops. Anyway, why don't you read Matthew 6, verses 25 to 34 yourself and think about how you can trust God and not worry. Cavendish. What? Yeah, we can string him up. Yeah. What? As a decoration scrub? Hi everyone, I'm Larissa. In his famous Sermon on the Mount, Jesus tells his followers that they are to live God's way. To live God's way means doing things the way that God would. And throughout the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus tells us what that means. To live God's way means keeping your word. To live God's way means loving everyone, even your enemies. And to live God's way means not worrying, but trusting God. Now, we're not always going to get it right, but thankfully, Jesus did always live God's way. And so now, by trusting in him, God will always accept us. And when we trust Jesus, he says we are to live God's way. Now, Jesus summarizes all this in the Bible, and this can be found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. It says, you must always act like your father in heaven. And that is going to be our memory verse. I'll teach it to you with the actions and then you can repeat it after me. It starts like this. 
Jesus says, your turn. Jesus says, and we're making a cross with our arms because the Bible says that Jesus died on a cross. But it also says that three days later, Jesus rose from the dead. And then we go, you must always act. Your turn. You must always act. And then we go on to say, like your father in heaven. Your turn. Like your father in heaven. Great work. And then we just say where this is from the Bible. So we're going to go, that's Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Your turn. That's Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Nice work. And that's all there is to it. So now you can jump up and do the memory verse with me and some of my friends. Are you ready? Let's go. Jesus says, you must always act. You must always act. You must always act like your Father in heaven. That's Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Now let's do it small and quiet. Are you ready? Let's go. Jesus says, you must always act. You must always act. You must always act like your Father in heaven. That's Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Now let's do it big and loud. Are you ready? Let's go. Jesus says, you must always act. You, you must, must always, always act. act. You, you must always act like your Father in heaven. heaven. That's, That's Matthew, Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Good job, everyone. See you next time.